Hello everyone and welcome to a new episode of Let's Play Spell on HD. Last time we died. And we died to a man trap. Which hasn't happened in quite a while, uh, uh, I would say. You might be wondering how did we die to a man trap? And the answer to that is that it was a dark level and the man trap was... I was jumping around on, from, uh, from tree to tree to, you know... Uh, make progress for the jungle level and the man trap was hidden on in the dark level on top of a tiki trap and I did not I saw the lights from the, the tiki trap because on jungle dark levels tiki traps have uh, f glowing fires coming out of their eyes so you can see them even in the dark but what I did not see was the man trap on top of the tiki trap so I tried to jump on the on the tiki trap and then the man trap just devoured me immediately like i had no reaction time at all and that sucks that just sucks that w that's a very shitty way of going it's also a very pathetic way of going all things considered but uh, ultimately this is the type of stuff that happens i'm not proud of it it just happens and now we'll just have to cope with it so we get the the Wujerai on this level, which is quite interesting. I'm really sad for dying on the previous... Uh, oh, there's the Wujerai right down there. Uh, I'm really sad for dying on the previous uh, run as much as I did, because ultimately we had like 48 fucking bombs or something along those lines. Like, that was a significant amount of bombs. And to lose all those bombs feels quite uh, disheartening to put it mildly and I'm not proud of that at all I really wish we could uh, we could have done better but you know things always end up like this so let's let's try to make this run work instead now so well, let's buy the spring shoes to jump higher let's buy the pitcher's meat to throw everything in a straight direction and let's buy another rope power to have extra ropes because ropes are important for vertical climbing let's sacrifice the damsel we get the spectacles And now, come on, grab the fucking skull, are you kidding me? Yeah, let's move on. So that was a shitty way of dying. This time, this time around, I'll try not to die to that again. Although, to be honest, I would, I would classify that death as unavoidable. Like, I did the best that I could, but uh, I would never have seen the man trap over there until it was the very last moment. And you, it's just unavoidable, is what I'd say. Obviously, you may disagree with that, but it's it's my personal assessment of the situation. Let's buy another rope pile. We've got 12 ropes right now. Fuck you, snake. You almost beat me. You almost beat me, but not quite there. You are not quite there just yet. Let's grab whatever is in that crate. We get a compass out of it. And the compass is useful because the compass allows us to find the exit more easily. Fuck me, the damsel just went down under a giant spider. So we have to kill the giant spider now. There's no other way of doing things. Okay, that was easy. Let's move on. We're down to only one bomb, though. That's extremely dangerous. So unlike the previous level where we, the previous run where we had like 48 bombs on us, right now we have only one bomb, and that's a very bad uh, position to be in. The previous level it was interesting because the previous run it was interesting because we also, oh, in, in, despite having a lot of bombs, we had uh, a scarcity of ropes. 
and right now it's the exact opposite like we have too many ropes i would say but definitely not enough bombs and that sucks all things considered okay now we're getting more bomb. oh fuck me seriously just climb your way out of that shitty fucking thing Do we get another Kali altar at some point? I want a Kali altar to sacrifice the dams all that. Oh my fuck! Jesus! Seriously? That's where you place the fucking arrow trap? This is why I hate the mines. Like at the very least the tiki traps in the in the jungle have a sensible random placement uh, on them. Whereas in the fucking mines, the arrow traps could just end up being literally anywhere, and they fuck you. Like they can be randomly, they can randomly generate in the worst fucking spots possible, and there is nothing you can do about it. You'll just have to take it on the chin. And I hate that. Like make no mistake, I fucking hate that. I hate the arrow traps in this game. More so than I hate the tiki traps. At the very least, the arrow traps take uh, less damage. Well, you take less damage when you get hit by the arrow traps than you do when you get hit by a tiki trap. At the very least, there's that, but that's a very small uh, consolation. All things considered. Yeah, fuck you too, dog. Yeah, I hate you. I can afford it because it's a fucking video game. I don't give a shit about uh, animal cruelty if it's with uh, fictional animals. There we go. Oh yes, give me the fucking jetpack, baby. Give me the goddamn jetpack. The jetpack is always fucking worth it. Fuck you. Can we buy the climbing gloves now? We have $11,225 on us. We can. We cannot buy the bomb box though. You know what? I'll buy the climbing gloves. The climbing gloves uh, uh, should be enough for me right now. I wish I could have afforded the bomb box as well though. That would have been quite, quite uh, awesome. Fuck, we do not have the, the spike shoes on us. This means that we cannot uh, kill giant frogs by jumping on them. Oh, fuck! Okay, so there's... There's a black market somewhere on this level. Now, w will we visit that black market? I don't think that we will because I don't have the money. Even with the this idol on us we will not get the significant amounts of money to to make uh, to justify going to the black market i feel anyway so i would rather uh, not go to the black market and skip it entirely which might make you wonder why did you even bother to 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 get the ujirai in the first place then and that's a fair question, like I, I shouldn't have bothered with the Ujirai in the first place if I never wanted to go to the black market, but in, in hindsight I never would have known that uh, I would uh, be lacking in money at this point. So we, we are skipping the black market, we, we're not going to use it anyway. A boomerang, fuck you, I can get that for free, I'm in the goddamn jungle. I don't need your shitty boomerang. And definitely, I don't want to gamble for it. Should we get the damsel? I mean, I guess we might as well, really. Yeah, I'm not dealing with that explos exploding frog down there. Fuck that shit. Fuck that noise! Fuck that noise. Oh, fuck me. Yeah, fuck you too, you bitch. Oh my god, are you kidding me? There were spikes down there? Seriously? 
Well, the damsel's now dead. Oh well. That sucked. Shitty random number generation, man. Like, that's what it all boils down to. Just shitty random fucking number generation. That's the very name of the game. In Spelunky, shitty random number generation, it will ruin your fucking life. Can we... is there... oh shit, that was dangerous. There is no Kali altar over here. So I might as well not bother with the damsel, I have 5 fucking hearts, that's more than enough. Like if I can take a hit from a tiki trap and still survive it, that's usually a good indicator that I'm, I'm doing well in terms of health. In my opinion. But I guess since I have the jet the jetpack, I might as well make use of it and climb back up to get a damsel. I don't like doing that, but uh, at the very end of the day, there's really no downside to it. I don't see any unlockable character though, which kind of sucks. We're finally at the ice caves. Ice caves are a bit more, are a bit trickier, but especially when you don't have the spike shoes, because without the spike shoes, you you sleep on the ice a lot, and that's quite annoying. I really wish I had the spike shoes for this level, but ultimately it's not the end of the world. We can we can make do with what we've got right now. Anything over here? Maybe a sacrificial altar? Doesn't look like there is. Okay, let's get the fuck out of here. Moving on! I really like, like this. Okay, we're almost there, baby. Almost fucking there. I see a damsel. We have the damsel. We do not have the spike shoes, so um, we should not. We are not able to kill the mammoths by just jumping on their backs. Okay, we get the fucking mattock on this level from a crate. The mattock is not that great, though. All things considered, it's just not that. Oh my! Oh shit! Damn! Fuck! Run! Run! Fuck everything else, just get the fuck out of there. We're moving on. We're heading for the Olmec, baby. We're heading for Olmec. Give me something useful, goddammit. I really thought that was going to work, but well, whatever. We get uh, spring shoes a second time, which is not the spike shoes that I wanted. Spring shoes are fine in their own way, but uh, I already had them, so that was literally a waste of a bomb. There's been a distinct lack of Kali art. Oh no! What the fuck was I? Oh god, that was that was not the game's fault. That was just me being extremely retarded. I apologize for that. That was uh, that was not a good way of dying. So uh, yeah, that sucked. Uh, moving on, I guess. 
Thank you very much for watching. Uh, if you want to get in touch with me, I have a Mastodon account as well as a Matrix room that you can join, details of which you can find in the description of this video. And in the meantime, thank you very much for watching and see you next time.